couple months ago, we played recordings for you of Chris Cuomo of CNN deep in conversation with convicted felon sleazeball lawyer Michael Cohen. They were planning a mafia hit. No, just kidding. They weren't. But in the, it did sound a little bit like they were, but they weren't. We verified it. In one of those conversations, though, Chris Cuomo did concede that reporters were bothering him, asking him whether he had sexually harassed multiple women. I'm always careful when I talk to media, you know? Right. Do you know how many phone calls I've gotten from people at ABC who say that reporters are calling and lying about things they heard about me to try to get stories about me when I was at ABC? Guys calling and saying, I heard he was the Charlie Rose of ABC, he used to invite women to the hotel and open his uh, bathroom. Do I look like the kind of guy who's got to do that? Sure, why not? Um, but you insist, so lying. So, so I already now, have a good source that says that he forced one woman to have sex. I just want to know if you've ever heard anything like that. There is no woman. Right. There is none of that. So here's the problem. Women who do work there saying, oh, yeah, you know, some of these men, and, and naming me with other guys, you know, we bumped into each other once in the elevator, and he put his hand on my shoulder, and he made me really uncomfortable. I mean, what the f it's 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 a problem, and now you. So I'm sure. careful with the media always. Right. I've always told you the media is not your friend. No. I want Frank Bopinciero dead. I want his family dead. Kid, just kidding. It was not a mafia hit. It was sexual harassment they were talking about. Chris Cuomo has extensive knowledge of that, the allegations anyway, according to that tape. Well, he's used that knowledge. We now learn to advise his brother, the governor of New York. Earlier this year, the younger Cuomo, the CNN one. Told his, told his brother not to back down as multiple women accused him of sexual misconduct. Now, CNN knows about this. They've announced that Chris Cuomo will not face any discipline. But one of their media reporters, or two of them, the creepier one, did say today in his scolding little tone that everyone at the network was shocked by the revelations. Shocked, quote, the revelation that Cuomo had advised his brother during strategy sessions has vexed staffers inside CNN. Multiple CNN staffers told me they were bothered by Cuomo's conduct and the violation of traditional journalistic standards. I guess they didn't notice when Chris Cuomo had his brother on TV repeatedly <laughs> and gave him advice on COVID. Uh, Joe Borelli is a member of the City Council of New York City. He knows a lot about Governor Cuomo. We're happy to have him on tonight. Joe, great to see you. Now, has Chris Cuomo ever called you? and offered you political advice. I'm just trying to get a sense of the scope of his backdoor advice giving. No, no unlike uh, his interviews with the governor, he actually used to give me tough questions when I appeared on, on his show occasionally. Uh, and he wasn't always the most pleasant oh. guy, to be honest. He wasn't. So what do, you, what do you make of this, that his brother, Andrew Cuomo, your governor, the guy who's, I hate to say it, wrecking your state, um, got advice, may, may in, be in office today because a CNN anchor told him to hang tough in the face of all those crazy ladies accusing him of fake sexual harassment. Look, look, Tucker, wh why this should raise red flags is that he's admitted to being part of the governor's strategy session. And by any objective yeah. measurement, the governor's strategy is not to accept the, uh, the investigations and even apologize to New Yorker. Uh, instead, it's to actually denounce some of the women. It's to lie about nursing homes. It's to cover up his own behavior. And it's to discredit women. Part of this strategy was apparently to leak uh, classified, not classified, but, but uh, confidential, rather, employment documents on one of Cuomo's own accusers. That's the strategy that Chris Cuomo was advising. This is a far cry from the guy who told us all we had to believe all women. Uh, he chided us for not believing uh, Dr. Blasey Ford at the time. And th this is just not e exactly the strategy that, that I think a primetime anchor should be having with the, the governor. You got to admit, though, Al Franken is probably watching this thinking, man, these guys are much tougher than I am. They're pretty tough. I mean, you see so many Democratic men, you know, all these like self-described male feminists, the second they get accused of doing something awful, I'm sure it's all true, they, run, you know, they, they leave. But the Cuomo brothers, they hang tough, actually. They're kind of giving these women the finger. 
No, no it's, it's a double standard. I mean, it's a double standard for Andrew Cuomo. It's a double standard for Chris Cuomo. These are both standards that they themselves set for other people, uh, both when Governor Cuomo has right. asked people to resign and when Chris Cuomo has had people on television. They don't live up to their own standards. I'm just glad that finally Governor Cuomo is being revealed to be this, this comic book villain rather than th this hero that people uh, like, like Chris Cuomo and CNN and so many other me media outlets have made him out to be. He's just not that person. It's been the, the whisper of Albany now for 10 years, uh, and finally, it's, it's, the yeah. truth is coming out. I would be a lot happier if everyone could just, you know, drop the self-righteousness. If Chris Cuomo just said, look, yeah, I mean, I'm exactly what I look like. I'm a, you know, steroid guy, thug, and it's my brother. Of course, I'm going to give him advice. You know what I mean? Rather than running around doing the holier-than-thou thing all the time. That's what I find unbearable. I, I agree. I mean, no one would fault Chris Cuomo for supporting his brother. I mean, that's that's what brothers do. Yeah. But to try to claim that you've been objective or, or claim that you've actually uh, been in any way un unbiased in how you've, you've covered your brother uh, and then try to say you've treated Trump the same way or other political adversaries that the Cuomos might have yeah. had over over time. I mean, it's just it, it's it's absurd on its face, Tucker. And I hope the audience, their audience sees it. Yeah. Just drop the falseness and the self-righteousness and we can all get along. Joe Borelli, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.